North Korea launched a series of short-range ballistic missiles early Tuesday. It's its second missile test in just days and mere hours before the U.S. presidential election. This follows North Korea's recent test of an advanced intercontinental ballistic missile reportedly capable of reaching the U.S. mainland. Not to mention the North's most powerful missile it has tested to date. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff reported several of North Korea's short-range missiles traveled around 250 miles before landing in waters east of the Korean Peninsula. The launch appears to be a direct response to recent U.S.-led military drills over the weekend. As part of those drills, the United States conducted joint exercises with South Korea and Japan deploying a B-1B bomber alongside South Korean and Japanese fighter jets. The Allies called it a show of strength aimed at reinforcing regional readiness. You can learn more about those drills on our website, san.com. North Korea quickly condemned the drills as hostile. Kim Yo-jong, sister to and spokesperson for Kim Jong-un, described the trilateral exercise as demonstrating the, quote, most hostile and dangerous aggressive nature of the enemy toward our republic. Pyongyang characterized the drills as a rehearsal for invasion. During a recent UN Security Council meeting, U.S. Deputy Ambassador Robert Wood condemned North Korea's ongoing missile development and accused both Russia and China of enabling Pyongyang by blocking international accountability efforts. Russian officials, however, defended North Korea's missile tests as a response to U.S. provocations. The Kremlin could also benefit from North Korea's testing, as Moscow is now one of North Korea's biggest weapons buyers. Meanwhile, South Korea requested additional military support from the U.S. to boost its defenses. Washington approved an almost $5 billion military aid package that includes early warning and control systems to enhance Seoul's missile detection capabilities. For more of our unbiased straight fact reporting, be sure to download the Straight Arrow News app today or log on to san.com. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson.